tell what you're about to torture. My name is Robert Brown. I'm a targeted individual. My torture began about three years ago in a hotel room. Uh, actually, I was watching TV. The TV was up. I noticed something shocking my head. Cut it. So what I did, I turned down the TV set, kept it, kept it on. And what I noticed was something slowly coming up from my feet, slowly up through my legs, through my body. And when it got to the head, it electrocuted my head. Okay. I took everything, just sitting on a chair in the hotel room, there's a chair, there's a table, there's a bed. After this happened, I said, what is this? So anyway, I got on the table, got my feet off the floor. The same thing would happen. Later, I put everything on, laid it on the table, laid on top of that. Still happened. Well, I laid on the bed, still happened. So, having to sleep on it, falling asleep, and this is, I, I use the term electrocution. Okay. I mean, oh man, you won't believe it. Painful. I mean, Jesus, man. But as I said, I was, I've been homeless for many years up until that point, and I wanted, I just got some money, and I wanted to get inside for a week to visit my, my grandmother for Thanksgiving. I haven't seen her in like 20 years. So I just wanted to be in a hotel for one week, you know, because I've, I've been living out for a long time to relax, keep relaxing, and visit And um, so this is, that, that's when that happened. And I also determined to get relaxed for a week on the inside, that I stayed, I mean, really, it was terrible. 24-7, I mean, just, oh. Uh, so I, I continued to stay in the hotel room because I put a lot of money down for a week and I stayed in there. And I asked for another room, same thing happened. I went to five different hotels, San Francisco, paid a little bit more money. I freaking just, you know, figured maybe there was something wrong with the room. Same thing happened. At this point, I called my grandmother and said, hey, grandma, I better visit you quick, man, because I'm, uh, something, something's happened. But what, let me say this much. Uh, I went to, um, uh, um, I left out, I went out, I came to break, I went, uh, I lived outside by the ocean for a couple of weeks. Same thing happened, they were torturing me outside. Less painful, slightly pain, less painful. But, um, I moved to Sunnyvale, went in a house for three months, relatives. Because I was telling, I was, I was starting to call my relatives, hey, something's happening here. And it happened for three months in the Sunnyvale. Every night, oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. You're referring to direct energy attacks, right? Microwave radiation being penetrating, penetrating your body where they, they are attacking your body with radiation, which is called electromagnetic energy from microwave technologies where it's burning his skin throughout his body, attacking him and tormenting him, and he's seeking for help. And as a legally deaf individual, he's telling his story so no one would think that if he shall die from this technology, that he just died right. from some type of other, some other way as a homeless person that they always put on the news. And he's and not a drug addict. He's not a drug people, addict. That people die from and this individual is a targeted individual who is attacked by electromagnetic weaponry. So Robert Brown is telling his story about being attacked and trying to seek help as a legally deaf individual, a disabled uh, person. Go ahead and finish up the story about the torture. Okay. And where do they attack your body functions at? What part you be so? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, it got so painful in the inside, I went to uh, live outside. I went to um, San Francisco, um, Ocean Beach, Ocean Beach. I stayed on the ocean for three months and this is what I think. I brought some soft silicone earplugs. I brought them in Sunnyvale. And I have been wearing them every day for three months while I was living on Ocean Beach in San Francisco. Okay, now this, I would have these in for 24 seven. What I discovered, okay, let me say, they were attacking me all this time. And let me say one more thing. After the Ocean Beach, I went up to Presidio, the National State Park in San Francisco, and I stayed there for another three months. It's quieter up there. The ocean waves, it's kind of, you know, all you hear is the ocean waves, but in the, the forest, National Presidio is very quiet. These silicone earplugs, I'll put them in 24 7. And let me tell you, I could hear them in, in the YouTube. Buzzing I could, sound I could hear, I could hear something. When they were torturing me, they were torturing my head at this time. Mm -hmm. Um, I could hear something come on clicking one ear, both ears. They're like 
fuzz buzz tones, some various types of tones, electronic type buzzes in one ear. You won't notice them if you didn't have these soft silicone earplugs in your ear. You would not notice. And that's how. And and with them in, they would start up some type of electronic tones. There's I have uh, one in this one here. A few seconds later, one in this here. But what they do, I'm covered up in my sleeping bag in my tarp. Okay, and I could just like pull out a rolling paper and I could hear them click on this electronic clip in or at one of my ears. Okay, and then they would do another one. And then if I were to roll up and I would smoke my cigarette right before it, it would just electrocute me right before I even put it to my lips, it electrocute me while I'm rolling up. When I'm smoking, after I'm smoking, I can hear them turn this stuff on and off with these earplugs. Uh, not just that, if I'm taking a bite of my food, my first bite, they'll do the same thing. They just want to make whatever they, they just want to make you. They, they want to torture you. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. They they torture me similar to that 24 hour torture. And let me say, uh, yeah, I know. And I'm up there alone, and if uh, maybe a couple Caucasian woman will walk past me. Right when they get by me, someone will electrocute my head every time. And they want you, know, you to so, think so it was somebody, her, somebody is it, pushing. It is this not like, her? Somebody is pushing buttons on me. Okay? Yes, yes. Somebody so is pushing buttons on me. And to I'm his body. And I'm yeah. glad I met Miss Anderson here because she's giving what she, uh, uh, her organization is, 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 is matches what's been happening to me. And, and, uh, and, um, but African the, African people against covert technology. APAC Cadre, hit us up on Facebook and leave a comment. We have information over there on that Facebook letting people know about targeted individuals of African descent. Don't think that the so-called slave master has went away. They <laughs> left one program with the whips. Now they're using directed energy weapons on our people trying to secretly drive us insane to discredit mm -hmm. what, what they are doing to us. So we are being a voice for one another to help stop what is happening to us with this white supremacist global elite takeover. Thank you. Uh, for the first year or two, they're attacking my head. December 25th, Christmas 2013, this past Christmas, I was still sleeping up in Presidio, San Francisco. I woke up on Christmas Day, and I got up, I couldn't walk. I was, it was, I was like, like this, look, like this, walking like this. As the day went on, I could walk. But from that day, mm -hmm. up until you people listening to me right now, the attacks, were no, the attacks are, have been on my feet, no longer on my head. Okay, what does that tell you from, to, from December 25th? To this day and I, I I've been having earplugs on all the time the same type of electronic buzz they be clicking on who's always pushing the buttons on me okay but the attacks are no longer at my head they're on my feet and starting one month ago they are attacking my penis when I text miss miss Anderson this morning to meet her to make this film while I was texting her they attacked my penis don't get the idea it's not just my cell phone they attack me if I'm not using my By cell phone. Whether my, uh, my cell phone doesn't have to be on me, so don't blame it on the cell phone. I know what it is, okay? <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, I know. Uh, so, my point is, uh, for the last month, they're starting to attack my penis. Uh, Tell, yeah, what Tell what they do. Tell what they do. body. They are radiating Robert Brown's body. They are radiating my body. They are radiating anyone's body. Look up HR 2977 Thank you. Space Preservation Act that Dennis Kucinich tried to pass the law stating that United States citizens are not to be, bodies are not to be radiated by military, space, weaponry, land-based or, or sea-based weaponry now they are radiating individuals' body, electrifying them to send these these weaponry attacks from this directed energy, torturing people and, and to cover these crimes up 
they want people to believe that one is mentally ill and unstable because they are not educating the medical community, the law enforcement, the ones at the highest level of the or government, the government. Are, uh, of the government are aware that this is military technology for synthetic telepathy and they are transmitting radio wave frequencies to people's body and torturing them and locking into that person's DNA of their electromagnetic frequency and constantly attacking one and doing all types of satanic and wicked things tormenting one no matter where you go that you cannot hide from directed energy because energy travels at 186 miles per second and because it travels so fast before you can click a button these supercomputers it is so advanced of the speed until it's nowhere you can escape being attacked once these individuals punch push the button to send launch these attacks to your body using your body as a fire uh, device as a weapon as using your body as a targeting practice torment you all day long no matter where you go in your home you cannot hide you're under surveillance 24 hours a day Yes, Seven days a week. Mm -hmm. If you go to the bathroom, they're watching you. Oh, they make you go to the bathroom. And then they can manipulate your body functions where you have, they will make you use the bathroom on yourself. And you got to fight to hold your bladder. Mm -hmm. and, and they can um, do different things in your body functions that will be unbelievable to those who are not targeted. So we're saying to you all, don't dismiss this because a lot of people going to the medical community thinking that they have an irregular a bladder infection and different things or ringing, and, in, the and ringing in the ears and they're saying it's tonight is when it's a fact they are toward starting the technology using the technology transmitting electromagnetic energy on one's body so you get these tingling feelings and you get these burning sensations cramps and you get cramps and also you deal with so much forms of torment then it's unbelievable that For somebody will be out there to be wicked like that to want to launch a program computers and create encrypted files to say to the computer writing computer language to to target one and torture one writing programs and scripts to watch one and use this technology throughout one's life or through the day when you're sleeping, they're plotting and writing these programs to launch these attacks to your body throughout the next day. It's very sad that they are programming computers to hurt people. People mm -hmm. don't hurt people. You mean program uh, computers don't uh, hurt people? They are programming these computers to hurt people. People, computers don't hurt people. Right. People use computers to hurt. This is a new way of torturing people with directed energy weaponries instead of using firearms because they believe if they're not in physical, uh, have physical contact with you, that they can torture you with no hands or physical torture and they will escape being prosecuted by the local law enforcement and city officials who, who would pr prosecute them if they knew that these things are, re are really happening. So our job as targeted individuals is get the word out. And uh, my heart went out for Robert as though, mm -hmm. although I'm a targeted individual myself because he's legally deaf and for him being legally deaf, his life is more in danger than mine mm -hmm. because people would discriminate him and think he's mentally ill because he is deaf and I myself and others like Israel and there are many targeted individuals around the world have to speak up and speak out about these crimes and protect each other so these COVID crimes can be exposed and dismantled and done away with so we can preserve the life of our future generations from those who are satanic, psychotic, and don't care about humanity, just want to use this directed energy weapons to torture one throughout their life, break your limbs down and make you think that it's a medical condition, break your back down and have people in wheelchairs and walkers and canes mm -hmm. and all these different types of techniques. The technology can attack your nervous, nervous system, breaking it down 
from these direct energy weapons. And because the medical community is not educated about it, many people are suffering from these direct energy weapons. You're having all these different surgeries and the surgeries is not even and needed. And they are putting implants in people yes. and tracking people. And a lot of people are not aware that they have been implanted. Hmm. And people like Dennis Kucinich, as stated, and other people like Jim, Jim. Don't worry, just keep moving. I, I forgot his name, um, Jim Gass. Jim Gass was one who, who supported the targeted individual. And we want to thank people like Javanka Beckles, vice mayor of the city of Richmond. And we are working on having police chief Magnus help us start a task force unit for TIs in the city of Richmond so that we can create a domino effect to stop these types of weaponries used secretly on the United States citizens here and abroad. Thank you for allowing me to share and excuse um, the stuttering and things like that, but I Thank too you, am yeah. under uh, many attacks, but I'm doing the best I can of getting the word out. Thank you, over and out, Amy Lee Anderson. She said over and out. <laughs> Robert, you want to say something? Oh, thank like you, something to your people, because that's who you wanted to see the video, right? Your, Name your family. Your family Name members. Your family. Call your family who you want to know what's happening with you. Come on, Call we got family. four minutes. Oh, uh, they basically my sister. I actually I've notified my sister. So I keep them, they pretty much know. They don't know about the penis part of the last month. But I'm about to tell them that, okay? And how because does I'm you, taking and this part from this point on? I'm taking this real seriously. Um, and how do your people take it when you talk to them about it? Um, what did she just say? I'm sorry. How do your people take it when you tell them about? How do they? What is their understanding oh, okay, about when you tell them uh, about the technology? Uh, during the first year of the attacks, uh, uh, I rarely see my mother about. It. I visit her and. Her impression was that the impression I get is she think it's a mentally ill problem. Okay, that's the how many more people in your family? But my sister, um, um, now that I know more about this, uh, I met Miss Anderson. I've been um, sending them some um, information. Okay, and my sister, I mean people I've been sending to there. I, I haven't heard their response, but um, I um, I think they're coming around a little bit more now. Um, when I tell them about the, um, 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 I, haven't really, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't really been talking to them as of late, but I think, uh, they're coming around to it based on what I've heard the last time I've talked to them. And they uh, want uh, people uh, to think that this is all in our minds when it is not. Right. Because the creator fixed it where when we feel things, we know what's happening. And this is the game they play. They did that to Aaron Alexis. They did that to Mary Marion Carey. They did that to the lady who in Florida, who they said that she ran her children in the ocean. And that individual said she was hearing demons in her head. And the other and lady said uh, the devil told her to do and it. And the devil told her to do it. Well, they're using this technology to communicate with one's mind. And it's called V2K or voice to skull transmission. But the 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 scientific name of the technology is called microwave auditory hearing effect. Mm -hmm. And it's the government patent on this technology. And and Alan Frey is one of the inventors. Mm. Oh, well, okay. we're going to cut this here one off. And I guess this will be the first one we do. Shalom. And I told him that you will work with him and you will get everybody.